So today, the Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded to scientists who discovered or came to the conclusion that the universe is not, quote, locally here. They concluded that the universe is not physically real and physically right here as we've been led to believe. It does exist, but it's more of a quantum thing. It's more of a holographic thing than it is locally, literally, physically here and real. So I want to talk to you guys about exactly how we can work with this new information from a manifesting point of view. So for those of you who don't know, I wrote a book called Alchemy of Imagination, The Power of Your Mind to Transform Your Life. And this book gives you pretty much everything you need to know about manifesting, uh, how to do it, how it works, and how to make it work for you. This is a table of contents. So I want to talk to you guys about how we can work with this information um, as it pertains to manifesting. So even though the universe may not be literally locally here, as we've been led to believe, it's still real and it's certainly real for you. And it is made up entirely of your own imagination. See, your imagination literally makes up your own personal quantum field and it constructs every single thing around you. And it's not an instant thing that happens right away. The manifestation process takes time. There is a bit of a time delay. It's just how the thing, it's just how life is. But you can be sure that your thoughts become literal things after a certain period of time has passed. And the way that you can change your life for the better is through directed visualization. And I go through different ways of, you know, what I call the afterthought, which is a specific type of scene you should imagine, and also imagining in first person, which is the most effective way to visualize. But in my opinion, the two most important things to change your quantum universe is belief and release. And release is kind of combined with belief combines to make the law of assumption. And you can literally go from believing to receiving. If you do it right, when you believe that you have something, it's like being in a state of perpetual visualization. It is like not having to specifically think of a scene, but you're just releasing all tension and all worries about whatever you're trying to visualize and the universe will correspond around you and coalesce around you. And this is true whether it's about physical health, emotional health, um, you know, financial wealth and well-being, family issues, anything like that, material or non-material. Because your thoughts and your words have power and they affect the quantum field all around you after a certain time delay. And because we now know through the Nobel Prize uh, scientists that the universe is in fact more of a holograph than anything actually physical, if you're able to vibrationally match what you're desiring through gratitude and through um, targeted visualization, at a certain period of time, and it's not that long, it's a few weeks to a few months, could be a few minutes to a few days, it really just depends. And I go through in this book exactly why it, sometimes it takes a long time, sometimes a short period of time. But when you walk around with an attitude of gratitude, an attitude of belief, an attitude of releasing all insecurities around it, you will be hypnotized at how well it works.